So today we are in historic Ybor City, which is uh, just inside Tampa City, Tampa, downtown Tampa. Yes. Um, behind us here is the famous historic Cuban club, which should say Very a lot. old building. It's been used as like for funerals, for dance clubs. It's been, uh, I think she said it was a medical center at one point. It's been used for like a it's, lot. There's a lot of history in this old building. Yes, so. it's got, it actually has somewhat of a spooky history itself, which mm -hmm. uh, we might talk about a little bit later on. But um, today we are here for the Tabernacle of Oddities. Tabernacle of Oddities. Yeah. Let's go see some weird stuff. We're going to be focusing a lot on artist vendors today. Yes. Um, I think they have some events going on, but we'll be mostly trying to, you know. See some new artists. See some new artists, I love yes. To see spooky artists and the things that they can do so yeah. I, I can't wait to see what's coming on out yeah. there and it's a cool building I've always wanted to go in there four stories apparently like we're going all the way up there so it's got a real ass on it if right. you know what I mean <laughs> I'm very excited and this this here yeah it's an ice cream purse yes right it sells ice cream uh, ah. all right. can we have that for my birthday party oh well, that would be amazing I need a hearse selling ice cream at my birthday all right, we'll make sure to get their info. <laughs> okay. Come join us, guys. We've got lots of stuff to show. Tabernacle of Oddities. Let's go. So this is at the Cuban Club, just the uh, first floor of things going on today. This place is awesome. Isn't it? It's our first time in the Cuban Club, so this will be interesting. There's a, there's a lot, like they got spooky everything yeah. here. Like they got spooky snacks and spooky art and oddities and I'm let's go excited. Let's go take a look. Yeah. Look at these terrariums, they're so cool looking. Nice to meet you. What was your name? I'm Gretchen. This is Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi. Nice to meet you. We do a YouTube channel. We go to different cons and stuff like that. Oh, awesome. Hang out with our buddies and our artists. And we're also artists. So we like to like, yeah. mingle and meet people. So it's nice to meet that. you. You too. Did you guys just get here, get started? We yeah. just walked in the door, yeah. Oh, man. You have so much in store. So, so maybe you can help us out because we couldn't find a whole lot of info online. Okay. How many floors? There's four. There's four, and yep. they're all full. Yep. Yeah, really? They are. That's incredible. And there's a theater as well where there's live entertainment, and they are doing satanic baptisms at six. <laughs> okay. Well, let me get in on that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Awesome. Thank you. You're very welcome. Look at this with the crystal and the moth. And, I mean, there's just so much here. This is absolutely beautiful. Is that a is that a beaver? It is a beaver skull, yes. Very cool. I love when we're putting all kinds of like natural pieces together, like yeah. crystals and bugs and stuff. Right. That's really pretty. Well done. Thank you. Hi. This is our friend from Spookala. We're right around the corner. How are you today? Doing exceptionally well. Good. How's the weekend been for you so far? That's and awesome. People remembering me, like what an honor. Well, it's hard to forget. <laughs> I'm Seriously. So shiny. Yes. I'm very shiny. Yes. I normally don't tell people to come into the light. But... <laughs> right. Yeah. This is our first time hearing about the tabernacle, so it's our first time here. Yes. Super impressed already, just walking in the door. Look at this crown. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. You think it's too much for like the desk job? Like it just. I think at this point they don't expect anything different from you, so you could they know walk what in. They walked into. Yes, and you you hand make all of these. Yes, it takes about eight hours. Eight in hours. Span of four days. Wow. Yes, the snake vertebrae here took me a good four days to pee mask me. <laughs> wow. Gorgeous work. Thank you. Absolutely stellar craftsmanship. It's good seeing you again. We will we'll do. Oh my god. Holy really moly. Please. So 
I like this guy right here with a crown. These are beautiful. Oh, his little pissy face. Like... They're all so shitty. <laughs> They're all so shitty. That's amazing. Shitty kitty. Oh man. It. So what? Uh, what inspires your ideas? Oh my god. Um, I really don't have like so for some of them like Black Phillip. I did Black Phillip, and now I'm doing Red Phillip. So obviously some movies inspire, but really I just wanted to do like a doll but not a marionette. Yeah. So I decided to like combine the both and just have them, you know, displayed. And, Very um, cool. Really cool. I love that Diesel's like this tiny little skull down here and he's just like, mind your business. Don't worry about that. Oh, little, little horn. Little, little horn. horn. Super cute. You, know, you see pictures of things online, but then when you like get to come and like see them, Really like Picture, cameras, pictures don't, don't do, do anything it. justice. Like yeah. it's gorgeous on pictures, but when you see the depth and the detail and the work that's yeah, the, the, the sale of last year. Yes. These guys run it, Matt and Matt and uh, Ryan Murray, they own uh, Black Hill Tattoo and I went to their sale night fair. And a lot of the artists that I follow on Instagram were there at the show. And seeing their stuff in person is a completely different. It really is. Yeah. It's completely different. Like it's pictures hard to really pictures don't do their stuff. <laughs> and their stuff is amazing. I, all the artists work there. It's just there's so many talented people there. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I design, um, I'm doing for all of these myself, uh, and I'm doing, um, all my horizontal bumper stickers are going to be two for ten today, okay, just in cool. case you wanted a couple. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. I know there's a lot to look at, so. I'm taking it all in, but we're doing a lap, and then we're going to, we're going to come up, and then we're going to come back down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Super cute. We're only supposed to be doing our initial laps, but we keep... ADHD is like making a stop at everything, you know? picture with my eyes, I'm going to look into your soul, I'm going to take your picture with my camera so I get two different perspectives of your portrait. I'm going to paint you as I see you in your physical form, like where your nose is, where your eyes is, where how like far away things are, your mustache obviously, <laughs> you know, her purple hair, stuff like that, but I'm always going to look in and see your demon self and give you that demon look. Exactly how you think you should look, maybe in there, but I have been pretty good so far this weekend at really hitting all the stuff you didn't know was there. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just posted on my Instagram, I just did like everybody's that I did yesterday. I think I did like seven, eight yesterday, and I, I was posting them all, and like some of them are, you can see the person's eyes and nose. You're like, oh, that's that guy, but then he's got like three horns hanging out. There was one girl I did, she had, I just gave her like three eyes down one side of her. And she came back and she was like, gonna cry. She's like, my left eye is about to be gone. I've had a bunch of surgeries on it. It's about to like, they're about to like deaden my eye. So she's like, when I paint myself, I give myself like no left eye. You gave me three on my left eye. And I was just like, I just got there. I just got in there. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. So I've been pretty good this weekend. I've been pretty good at seeing your demon self. That's so, crazy. Yeah. And I do all that it takes about half an hour. So you shop around, you come back and you'll have uh, one done on this recycled cotton. Hummingbird, oh. first eye is a period. That's great. Can't miss me. That's really cool. Thank you. So we've only made it to the second floor, but it looks like being the Cuban club, there's probably a bar on every level. This is about the extent of it, but there's a theater back there. I think we might have to go check out later. What'd you find? Shrunken heads. Oh, wow. 
you love a good cloche dome and anything that comes in it. Anything that goes in a dome, I'm here for this. I couldn't get this view from the outside, but the size of this stained glass. <laughs> We saw his hearse outside. Let's go over here and take a look. Hi there, you look amazing. How are you? Good, Saw your uh, hearse outside, so I had to come check out the goods. I think we could always find a purpose for a voodoo doll, right? Yeah. Here's a few. So these photos are taken right over here. That's crazy. So cool. I mean, there is kind of a, a curiosity of like, what would you look like at your own funeral, right? I'm gonna look fabulous. <laughs> Chain Assembly Art, Tarot, and Games. You have always been looking for a, at least a new tarot card set to add to the collection. Oh, they're, they're neon. That's up my alley. Isn't that cool? Very cool. That's a great idea. These are beautiful. Flip them over. Let me see the backside. Okay. Interesting. Tarot by Neon Lights. Nick Rivera. Very cool. They have their own little box for them. Hello. Oh, hi there. I was hiding. <laughs> We're just admiring your tarot cards over here. Thank you. I love the neon look to it. So that's kind of inspired by um, the neon palm reading signs you'll see outside of a psychic's house. Okay. I just wanted to blow the whole thing up into like a modern Americana minimalist tarot deck. Very cool. I love it. Thank it's you. Beautiful Looks deck. great. Yeah. Thanks. I know if I, were, if I lived in Vegas, it would sell really well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what is in this not for children coloring book here. It's a random collection of my illustrations over the years. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I like that zombie. That looks great. Nice. So what would you uh what would you call your aesthetic? Oh hard to say because every project I do I try and do a completely different style. That's that's very cool. Because yeah. I try to make it look like there's a whole team of people under chain assembly but it's just me. Okay <laughs> fair enough. Well I can respect the fact that you're not trying to just butt yourself down to one sort of thing. You know? yeah. yeah. So how many tarot decks have you made? Uh, so the first one I did was Eros Tarot, the erotic tarot deck. Sold out yesterday. Okay. Um, then I followed that up with the Goracle, the Gory Oracle deck. Terror by the Neon Light is my most recent tarot deck. That one I uh, got from the printer probably about six months ago. Okay. And I'm working on a role-playing game right now that uses a tarot deck instead of dice. And I'm designing a custom tarot deck to go with it. And the theme of it is 70s Italian horror films. So I'm making all the cards look like Italian movie posters. I love that. That is so fun. Thanks. Are we doing I like I like the the scarecrow. The pumpkin. The little pumpkin, yeah. Great designs. This is all your artwork. Awesome Hi. stuff. Hi. Yes, this is all my art. Um, I draw it all myself. Paint, whatever. Very cool. What medium do you use? Um, usually it's like pen or yeah. digital. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, sometimes I paint, but okay. Not as often as I would like because I paint all day at work. So. Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do a lot of pen and ink and I do a lot of um, digital work. Very cool. Excellent. Awesome. These are gorgeous. Thank you. Well done. Thank you very I love much. the amount of detail yeah. that you put into these. I just attributed to ADHD. So oh, see, the I best see artists that. have ADHD. <laughs> they really do. I feel that in my real soul. These are 
So I thought downstairs was full, but this is the grand ballroom. Look at the size of this. I, they left the, the most unsuspecting at the very you last. You gotta work for the awesome. You do. Yes. Fourth floor. So they have a tattoo alley up here. And then you have the famous saxophone player from the Lost Boys, Tim Capello over here. We've seen him doing the rounds lately. Famous saxophone. Yeah. When we were at uh, Sunshine City Scare, Gretchen bought one of these um, skulls right here for a plant. <laughs> so they're just so cool looking. You found your friends? I found my friends. Yeah. Yes. Mark, he makes amazing art. He's yep. the one that's got the skull. I was just place. pointing it out. I'm yes. like, I got one of those in my house. <laughs> Today is my one year of doing markets because I did this market first, well, first no market kidding. last year. So this is my one year anniversary of even doing markets. So it's like a Happy. little bit no of a kidding. celebration. And you've got all of this. Yes. Very cool. I mean, you've grown since I saw you I'm, in months ago. Yeah. Like, yeah. Awesome. I'm just saying this is impressive for a year. So yes. ni nicely done. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't have them. They're, I'm, no, I started them around Christmas. I call them Wolflix. So they're bats and skeletons and spiders. And I actually have small versions also. Little ornament size ones for the tree. So those are my Wolflix. And then I have uh, some Krampus ornaments as well that I started last year. Those are my inaugural ornaments last year. Whoa! Wow. This is gorgeous. That's cool. I make a large, like a, a door reef size one also. No so, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. It's autographs from people you wouldn't normally get autographs from. And Stephen King. And Stephen King. <laughs> but you've got David Koresh. John Wayne Gacy. Timothy McVeigh. Jeffrey Dahmer. The, the Ramirez. Yeah, this this black light caught me. I like the vividness of the of the colors, right? It's called wee 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 wee. It's the sound they make. <laughs> Listen, haunted Furbies, okay? A totally meant for a child. One of the most hauntingly just odd things ever. It's in its it's in its rightful spot. Among Which the tabernacle it is. oddities. I like this one here. Oh, see, I didn't even <laughs> notice the finger. That's a good one. You can paint all of these. Yeah, absolutely. What's your name? My name is Summer Elaine Hugh. Very cool. Uh, I'm an illustrator. Have been since I was a little kid. Yeah. And, um, these are all prints, so I draw digitally on my iPad. So everything is hand-drawn and printed locally in St. Pete. Nice. Shout out. <laughs> very, no, very cool, yes. Your use of color astoundingly beautiful. Thank you. I love it. It's more apparent right now in sort of the goth marketplace. Usually I'm like the weirdest person, but like in a sea of like the gothic darkness, people are like, oh, I'm like Barbie over here. Right? <laughs> I love it. The bubblegum goth in me sees the bubblegum goth. Bubble <laughs> I'm here right now. She's in the restroom, but like, I love that. I love the joy. Very cool. I specifically really am drawn to the, um, Lava lamps. The lava lamps, they're, they're the lock on my, on my phone. They're, they, they're, they're my joy. I love seeing them. They, I, I love the names. The wee, wee, wee. This yeah, so yeah. Cute. I'm a gallery artist, so those were originally in like an art gallery, and you know, you have the like tag on the side, and I was like, oh, let's get weird with this and make it really <laughs> silly and fun. I think it's great. Let's oh. see Elliot. Oh, there's Missy Elliot. <laughs> I just saw the I hair. That was my wife. Ah. <laughs> that paper it's on. That's rad. This is beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, I like it. I like the style. It gives me like like Asian, like you know, like the like Japanese water ink yeah. that they use. I don't know if that's what it's called, but where right. they use the inks. Yep. And they guess what it reminds me. It 
just stands out right yeah. there, yeah. We know what everybody's thinking about. Yeah. That one in the first one. two tits made out of coals. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Are you the artist? No. 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 The you're the artist. No. Oh, you're the mom. mom. Oh. I'm mom. The artist you... in Colorado. Okay. Oh. She's doing a show out there. Good on her, yeah. for real. She was hired in the Florida Summers, and then she, was, she had committed to this show, but she was doing shows out there, so then she, I offered, as long as I could get Sarah, our friend from Dude, right here. see? That's, that's so cool. It's so proud. It tastes village, yeah. It does. Yes. yes. Oh, my gosh. And everything is art done with Sharpies and whiteout, and then it gets all digitized and printed. Okay, very cool. So I'm picking up what she's putting down. Carrie up here and Chucky and the Headless Horseman. Look at the boobies. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> that one sold out so fast. We had we had that on three big buttons yesterday and they sold out. That's it's so very popular. Right. And I saw you were gonna be here with Whitney and I was like, oh, Ah, I get it. Okay. That's in our living room. I'm like, this all looks very familiar to me. I had the emotional breakdown over the big one. If yes. You yes. It was on canvas at um, yes. one of the conventions. Oh, yeah. It's going to be Empire. And every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, Yeah. I just love your use of pastels. I don't see enough of that. And I really like that you do that. Us bubblegum lost like the best, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> look at the use of color. Look at all the I like the uh, shadow work on that. It yeah. is phenomenal. Wow. And all the line work on the snakes. And that jawline. Dang. So Oh, is it is it something cathartic about yes. it? Yes. Yeah. All of those little scales and detail and like love was put into this. These are great. That's fun. Yeah. I'm so blinded by this one that I have to like train my. Oh my gosh. Head. That's so fun. Our friends from Prometheus Esoterica got a set up here. And you had a huge So let me ask you a question. Hello. Um, how do you pick stuff out of your shop to bring here, or do you have a separate set of things? A little bit of both. Okay. Some of it comes out of our private collection. Some things we pull from the shop. But we definitely, when we do events like this, we hold items back specifically to come to the event. Gotcha. So the important thing is, even if they see you out in public, yeah. it's still important to go to the shop, yeah. the physical different shop, stuff. to see completely Absolutely. different things. Absolutely. Because we've been there, and obviously, you know, this is very petite compared to the grandiose sort of yeah. displays you guys no, have. No rhinos here. Yes, no no full-size skeletons yeah, or anything yeah, like that. Yeah. So Whatever fits in my Kia Serena. <laughs> Fair enough. So, yeah, I, I want to see the private I know, right? right? Yeah. Like, if the shop looks this freaking cool, this is really catching my eye. This is a tantric ritual master in Tibet, traditionally carved from the skull of the monk. Man, see, I would be afraid to bring that home, babe. Like... This is good vibes. Is it good vibes? Oh, yeah. This okay. Is, this is 100% good vibes. Okay. This is a shrunken head from Ecuador. That one's not good vibes. Gotcha. <laughs> See, these just need, you can have these things if you have friends like Prometheus Esoterica to go, hey. That's good. That's not. Yeah, right. <laughs> better, better to not touch that. Who do I need to offer to to keep this exactly. safe? Yeah. yeah. I get it. Very cool. Well, somebody just won one of these, didn't they? Uh, yeah, we just gave a Fiji mermaid away at the, uh, the open house, the carnival open house last month. Yes. We got our Halloween open house coming up September 13th. Oh, shit. So we'll do another raffle. Change the whole store over, all new merchandise, all decorated up for Halloween. Nice. We're going to have to come to that. Excellent. It's been too long since we've been out to the shop. I need to know what the inside of an armadillo shell looks like, babe. Oh. Pretty wild. You know what's interesting is there's these teeny tiny little hairs. Oh, you're right. You can almost pick them up. Yeah. Huh. That's really cool. Little trinkets in there. Never trust they, a crow. They they steal. So. Crow steal. They like to collect trinkets. Okay. And look at him. He's like, mind your business. It's a horror workout. 
A horror workout. The scariest exercise video ever made. Is it a Blu-ray? Yes. These are your independent releases? Yes. yes. Very cool. Yeah, it's not that this exists in the world. I know. This is amazing. Yeah, so we pretty much we don't, we don't do any like reissues. We just put things up for the first time on these different formats. So yeah. Very cool. Yeah. As I said, the budget was fifteen dollars and it looks like it. <laughs> the budget was fifteen dollars and it looks like it. That's amazing. We're we're a few things, so Terry should I just tell you that that's on the back. Very cool. We hey, I mean it's another reason to try to get it up to Savannah, dear. I mean you know? everything keeps putting us in that direction. Right? Oh nice. Unsolved mystery soundtrack. Who doesn't want that? Right? People under the stairs, that's a super underrated movie. It is. House on Sorority Row, classic. If just for your soundtrack needs. I love but how I mean, she's hugging the chainsaw, like. To be fair, I think I think you need the Blu-ray version of this. I mean, you probably enjoy the soundtrack, but I think it's gotta be done in the visual media. It is a really fun release. It's basically like a fun workout video, but like by really Sure, quickly. right. Um, but it was like 1991, shot out video. It has not been released ever since now, so it does actually follow a loose storyline though, so it's kind of fun. There's like at one point zombies doing like water aerobics and <laughs> it turns into like a slumber party massacre kind of thing. So, I yeah. love that that's out there. Oh yeah. <laughs> so there is a theater in the back of the facility and they have bands playing today. In a little while they'll be playing the Lost Boys movie where uh, Tim Capello, the saxophonist, will be out here as well. But this is cool. It's just kind of in the back of the venue on the second floor, this little uh, theater stage. to counteract the waves of crowds, try to go to where the crowds are not. So we've been up and down the floors like a couple times now, this four story building, up and down a couple times. And every time we go to a floor, we find something that we didn't catch There's last time. There's so many nooks and crannies. So we're getting in the crannies right. and we're nooking it up right. and we're like, oh hey, there's some cool, this is a really, interesting venue to have a show like this and I like that it really allows you to explore and I think when you're in the world of oddities part of the fun is exploring yeah. don't you think so right. I really like that this actually lends itself very well to that 
You well, could get lost in here. It totally does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love the fact that it's not just a, a one singular floor no. just laid out for like an acre, you know? No, it's it's really, it's an old antique building that may or may not be haunted. Right. And there's a lot of like interesting energy here. We were talking with the show uh, promoter, the person who puts on the show. Yep. And they were talking about how the first floor when we walked in used to be a pool. But unfortunately, a small child died in like decades ago. And apparently, they play ball with you. But now, now it is a concrete floor, and that child plays ball with you. There's no piano here, but sometimes you'll hear a piano playing. Like the history of this building goes back a long, long time. Apparently, way. they do ghost tours. Do you guys like to see us do a ghost tour? Let us know in the comments. Let us know. Yes. We'll do it if enough people are wanting us to do it. Yeah. I'll go get scarred. I am scared to get scarred. Oh. So where are you based out of? Oh, we're based out of Orlando, Florida. Okay, right on. Very cool. Um, so what do we have in the in the bags over here? So this is Gungnir. It's our uh, newest coffee release. It's a natural process fermentation infused coffee. It's a light roast from Ethiopia. A really fun like blueberry compote and uh, vanilla flan kind of thing going on. Very cool. Yeah. Where can we find you online? Uh, we're at mythicbrewing.com or at mythicbrew on Instagram, M-Y-T-H-K. Awesome. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Look at these handcrafted uh, lighter holders, babe. <laughs> Look at this Zippo. It's a Necronomicon. Very cool. Super creepy. Oh, I like the party glove. That's fun. Very so nice. Question. Is this Raggedy Ann or is this Annabelle? It's Raggedy Ann. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Definitely we deal with nostalgia. So anything <laughs> with nostalgia. Oh my god. I had this phone as a toy with the eyeballs would like go sideways. Oh yeah, yeah. That's cool. I love it. Not a tease. There you go. This shop here is a good depiction of just overall oddities. Like just good random assortment of cool stuff. <laughs> wow. I love a good belt buckle. Very cool. Is this is this your shop? Your little yeah, our shop, your yeah. shop. I love the assortment of like tr like real oddities. Hey, just yeah, a, no, an assortment just, of random things. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like a Bible, like your grandpa's garage. Yes, of, totally. You know, like a lot of random little things, like super nostalgic. Totally. You know, the big ones, like the oil lamps. Everyone's like, oh my god, I remember that from my grandma's shelf at home. The the Joe Camel sign over here, the gas station sign, is exactly what caught my attention. I'm like, this yeah, is man, this you is want kind it? of. This, I got no place for it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're like, I got the same problem, right? I'd put yeah. it on the wall if I had the room. Yeah, right. But no, it's definitely a cool piece of history. So. Yeah. I love all the old magazines and the newspaper and paper stuff. And it's like the best form of news because it's like micro news, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's not anything huge. It's like... I mean, this stuff obviously is huge, but like you go back into it, the random little articles and stuff. Oh, yeah, the little like the snippets in time. You know? Yeah. That's stuff you're never going to find anywhere else. Right. I got whole boxes of old newspapers if you're into it. No so, kidding. Yeah, right on. Crazy. Rusty, perfect name, Rusty yeah, Hammer Vintage. Very cool. Tate and Alyssa, thanks so much. Absolutely. I appreciate Thank it. You, Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, no, we're in your way. Holy moly. But then. Wow. Like she leaves space for you to add your own, but then she like. Stunning. Very cool. Yeah. But then look, 
got some fur and some crystals and like this is spectacular. It really is. So you you hand make these? This that those are spectacular looking. Very cool. What's your inspiration for what you include on the inside? Um, it, I started with a theme. Uh, yeah. There's like a seaweed, a spooky weed, and then I kind of build up from there, uh, gathering images and putting it all together. Very it's fun. Cool. Lots of fun. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. There was a lot going on today. We finally made our way back down to the first floor. Yes. Saw a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Today We're in the first floor. This is the pool where the kid likes to play. Right down here. Here. Okay. So. We didn't see any balls flying around, but uh, we'll go with it. Yeah. There's so much, like we focused on the vendors. That's what I wanted to say. We focused on the vendors today. Uh, there's a lot of other things going on. So I many artists. There were some absolutely spectacular artists that I've never seen before. Right. And it was really, really cool to get to see how people have been able to manipulate mediums into this oddity. Yeah, they, they still have more going so on awesome. later today. We're not going to be able to see they have like a satanic baptism that they're doing. Um, unfortunately, we're not able to stick around for that. Sorry. But one of, not one today, of, Satan. One of the fun things about doing these cons over and over is the fact that we always see something new. Always. So it, yeah. it's very refreshing to see a lot of fresh faces. So meeting, awesome. Meeting new and exciting artists for the first time. An amazing environment. Yeah. It's a really cool show. I, I, I actually think I think I might, I might have to come next year, too. Yeah, yeah. We'll come back. Yeah. Apparently this is not the first year, but it's the first time we've heard of it, so it was, it was super nice to find something so new. So awesome, so awesome. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, guys. Give us a thumbs up, and make sure you're subscribing to our channel if you'd love to see us go see the weird and wild. Let us know in the comments below, and we'll be happy to go find more weird stuff for you guys.